Hey, everyone. So we're going to do the second part of the uh, 8.3 video now. So let's get to it. All right. Here, let's see. OK, there we go. All right. So this is a continuation of 8.3. And in this, we're going to look at solving exponentials exponential equations with different bases. This is actually going to be what we're going to call case three. All right. So when bases of exponents can't be changed to the same value, we've got to use logarithms to solve the equations. So we've seen this kind of stuff before. I think at the end of chapter seven, we I kind of briefly introduced you the that, that little trick that I used to solve what x was. Yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use it. We're going to figure out how to use our calculator in order to help us solve this. So we need to somehow access the, the exponent. So the, the variable is in the exponent over here. And we basically have to take the log of both sides, right? So let's say I've got the exponents here and I take the log of both sides here, so I raise them both to the logs. And then now, what does having this log and this exponent here, what can I do? Which law can I use? It's my favorite one. Do you remember that one? Yeah. yeah. Right. So I can go x and then log 3 equals log 8. I still have my glasses on. I should take them off. I'm wondering why can't I see properly? All right. So now, at this point, I can solve for x, all right, because these two are multiplying, right? So divide both sides by log 3, and then these reduce to 1 because they're the same thing. Then I've got log 8 and log 3. So in my calculator, I can simply, so yeah, so then if it says, um, you know, evaluate what it is, and you're allowed to use a calculator. So on the provincial, you'll see a little, a little picture of a calculator beside it if you're allowed to use your calculator. Okay? All right. Now, so I've got my log and then 8. Make sure you close the bracket there for that log. And then, just trying to change the resolution there. Okay, so then divided by, and then log 3, and close your bracket. So you should end up with 1.8927 and so on. So we can round that to three decimal places. 1.893. So we used our calculator to evaluate. Hmm. All right. Sound good? Exciting? Sweet. Okay. So now there's a couple more questions on the other side here. So we've got this. Just some more practice with bases that are not the same. So what are we going to do in this case? We need to. No. We need to log both sides. We need to log both sides because they are different bases. So log 19, x minus 5, and then log 3, and then 2x plus 1. Those are my exponents. Now, which law are we going to use to bring our exponents down? All right, so that is the third one. x minus 5. I'm going to keep that in brackets, log 19 equals 2x plus 1 in brackets, log 3. Okay. Now, drop down exponents. I'll just write down the steps here. Exponents. So it's my favorite law. That's the exponent component one. And then I'm going to, what do you think we're going to do next? Nope. 
Okay, so you've got a binomial here, and you've got a binomial here. These are multiplying. Hmm. Distributive property. Distribute, right. So then I've got x log 19. So I'm going to take this log 19, multiply it into that bracket. Minus 5 log 19. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this log 3, distribute it through that bracket there. So 2x log 3 plus 1 times log 3. All right. Now, notice I can organize my logs in a certain way, right? Which ones do you think I'm going to bring together? The ones with the x's. All right. So now, <clears throat> so we've got x log 19 minus 2x log 3 equals, and then log 3 minus 5, sorry, plus 5, thanks, log 19. Okay, so what would I say is the fourth step here? What did I just do? Collect like terms, okay? So numbers on one side, and what went on the other side? And the ones with the x's on the other side, right? What do you think I can do with this x and x there? <coughs> Since they're, they're, they're common, right? What can I do here? I can factor it, factor it out, good. All right, so now log 19 minus, and then two log three. Any ideas of what's gonna happen next? What are we gonna do? We want to, what are we solving for? What's our goal here? We're solving for x, so I can divide both sides by what's here. Okay, I'm having trouble writing that out. Log, no, there's no dropping of logs here. Not at all, sorry. As much as you enjoy saying that. Log three, okay, so what happens to this right here? All right, it is reduced to 1, all right? So that's why we can just write x equals, and then I've got this beautiful log 3 plus 5 log 19 over log 19 minus 2 log 3. This whole thing here is what my answer is. I can plug this into my calculator, and when you do so, make sure that you are being really careful about your brackets, okay? So I'm gonna have a bracket opening up my numerator, and then log three, and now notice my calculator opens up a bracket for my argument, so I need to make sure I close that every time. Plus five times log 19, close my bracket, close again for this numerator, then divided by, open a bracket for my denominator, log 19, close that one, minus two times, I'm crossing my fingers that I get it right, and then bracket, bracket. All right, 21.173, sweet. Okay, so x equals, 21.173, rounded to three decimal places. <coughs> and can I finish up writing some steps here? What did I do after I collected like terms? I factored, factored to isolate x, okay? And then evaluate with a calculator. Now, if this is a non-calculator question, then you would leave your final answer at this point where I've squared it off, okay? If it is a calculator question, then you would move on. But if it's not a calculator question, that's where you would end up, okay? So that's the only difference between calculator versus non-calculator. Okay, 
And now our last example here where it says two times and then three to the power of x equals six to the power of three x minus one. Please be careful here, folks. Do not multiply this two with this three. Order of operations, right, yeah. And also the exponent, this x is just to this three. It's not to this two. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use logarithms to expand. to expand logarithms. Okay, when I can't spell it, I just write it really messy. Logarithms, okay, anyways. So we're gonna put everything to logarithms. So I'm gonna log both sides. So I'm gonna put a log in front of each term. And now, what do you notice? Which rule could I use to expand this? I can. Now, we're going to expand it using the product law. So 2, log 2, and then plus log 3 to the power of x equals log 6 and then 3x minus 1. So this was the product law that we used. <coughs> now, notice I have these exponents up here. What can I do now? So the exponent, the exponent 1. Okay, yeah, so I've got log 2 plus, and then bring that out in front, x log 3 equals 3x minus 1. Keep that in a bracket, log 6. Notice I've got a binomial here in a bracket in front of a log. What's going to happen? Yeah, so this log 6 multiplies through in there. So I've got log 2 plus x log 3 equals 3x log 6 minus log 6. All right. Now what's going to happen next? Like terms? Yeah, collect like terms. So which ones am I going to put together on one side? The ones with x's. So collect those. And these are going to go, this and this are going to go on the other side. So x log 3 minus 3x log 6 equals, now I've got a minus for both, right? Minus log 6 minus log 2. What happens now? Factor out the x, x, and then I've got log 3 minus 3 log 6 equals negative log 6 minus log 2 divide both sides by what's in the bracket here. Kind of fun, hey? Awesome. Okay, so this is reduced to 1. Yeah, good. And then what's, I'm going to finish it up down here. Actually, well, that's what x is over here, right? Yeah, so x is log 6 minus log 2, and then log 3 minus 3 log 6. And if I punch this into my calculator, what do I end up getting as x equals? <coughs> so remember, so I've got bracket opening up my numerator, negative. Now make sure you're using your negative button in front. So log 6 minus, oh, bracket minus log 2, close bracket, close it, and then divide, and then open one for the denominator, 
log 3 minus, whoops, what did I do? I need a bracket to close that off there, minus 3 uh, log 6, two closing brackets, and my answer is? All right, 0 0.581, and that's all, folks. Okay, so this would be your answer if it's a non-calculator question. This is your answer if it's a? Calculator question. Okay, so there's your homework, folks. Make it happen. This up here? That's just a note for this question. All right, Kate, okay, yep, make sure you do your homework. Homework makes you smarter. Well, you, you guys are smart. You're just, you need practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Okay. Okay, Godspeed. Log speed. Log speed. <laughs>